Okay, so the next one we're going to do is called the keki. The literal translation means cake in Japanese, and it's more of a dessert style cocktail. Um, it features the very, very good Cotswold gin. This is award winning at the moment. Uh, the main features of it is that it contains hand peeled grapefruit rather than uh, getting a machine to mill it, essentially. Um, the, the beauty of it really shines through. It's such a soft, delicate flavour and it, like I said, it has won a few awards. We're working very close with these guys at the moment. Oh, okay. um, so I'll get started, really. We have fresh passion fruit. Not as attractive to look at as it tastes, but it, uh, we try and use, like I said earlier on, um, everything original, really, so we don't use as purees where possible or anything like that. Sure. And we have fresh lemon zest. This is what I mean by the culinary side of it. I mean, it's not all it's not all liquid ingredients, as you're saying, no purees, no nothing. Absolutely not. And this doesn't always mean that um, everything will actually be included in the glass. We use a variety of equipment to maybe catch the essence of something rather than actually putting it straight in there. But um, yeah, certainly it uh, is almost culinary in the way that it's done now. And then last but not, me not least, and the side of it that comes to keki, this is double cream we're using here. This is not good on a diet. No. Nope. But certainly tastes good. I feel my pants I suppose speed is an element um, of success for that one. Most definitely. It's, um, there are different styles of shaking. That particular one isn't a, a massively complicated uh, type. You're, you're literally just looking to combine the ingredients. There's a slight element of dilution as well. Yeah. Um, just so that you're not blowing anyone's head off with it, really. Where this is a creamier one, you're having to filter out a lot of um, both liquid and, and the fresh fruit we put in here. So it's a much slower strain, but you can see as the liquid comes down, uh, the ingredients have been brought together nicely. Uh, the gin is actually the resonant flavour in this one. It's beautiful gin, and we try to really encapsulate that. Yeah. Is this another one of your inventions? Uh, this particular one isn't, unfortunately. I, I'd love to claim this one. <laughs> it's my former head bartender, who's unfortunately no longer with the company. Um, but yeah, very, very popular. Uh, that that I've just put on there is edible flowers. They are absolutely beautiful to look at, but yeah. um, you can actually eat them, and often they've got really interesting flavours to them as well. Mm. There we go. Keki.